Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Toolbox episode three. Reason why me and Adam look a bit like drowned rats is because it's a very miserable uh, evening here at Ickleton. Miserable only on the front of weather though, and not from golf, because this is this man's first session. Usually with the other two guys, we'll do two hours on course, hour at bay. Yep. Tonight, because of like daylight and stuff like that, we're gonna do an hour on course, and then the second session is gonna be an hour at bay, um, hour on course. I'm gonna stop yakking, let's get into it. Oh my god, I thought we nearly got first ever all in one on camera then. That would have been a bit mental, wouldn't it? It'd be me teaching you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this would be a nice way to uh, start the series, wouldn't it? It'd be a lovely way. What, you got it as just outside right? If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it tried, didn't it? What well, is I was aiming outside left, but you said outside right. So, probably pretty straight and somewhere in between with the way then? Nice three. Uh. Good shot, just a little bit leaky. Mm -hmm. Safe though. It's down there. So I feel like I'm in a very um, advantageous position. I don't know if advantageous is the right word, you know. Like a very beneficial um, place at the minute because me and Adam just so happen to play a lot of golf together so more so than the two gents uh, I know how this guy plays uh, we are together in a society called the Sunday Club hopefully hopefully soon to come to YouTube but a lot of lads are reluctant to film quite a lot of stuff so but like, because of that I've played with you quite a lot of times yeah. I've had a few lessons prior to these six months I know a lot of stuff that he does well a lot of stuff that he does bad so what are you going to say? Well, I would say well, I mean, like, from when we first started to where we are now, I think, like, similar to Andy, you made, like, tremendous improvements. Yeah. The big thing for us now is with this being, and the idea of the toolbox is teaching a load more skills. Yeah. So honing in short game. And one of his first missions is to get on top of thin and fat strikes. Strikes, massively. We were yeah. talking off a camera about that, so that's one of his first missions. Um, hopefully give him the ability to start shaping his shots, controlling his flight, as we're going to do with other two gents. So, so yeah, good, good, but we've just got a bit more of an head start than what we've got with other two gents, haven't we, so. Yeah. Okay. Probably not the best time to ask this, but current handicap? Eleven. <laughs> you good? According to England golf. Yeah, yeah, wicked. That's According to the Sunday club. What were it when we first started? Oh, it must have been at least twenty-eight. Yeah. At least. But I'd say I'm more fourteen. According to the club. Yeah, when you get so, you tend to get um heightened up when we play courses yeah. like Hickleton, don't England you? England golf, like I've only put a few scores in, so it's uh, not better than I am at the moment. It does that for everyone though, doesn't it? How many rounds do I need? Ten? Or uh, eight to make it more? Eight out of twenty is the cutoff in it, so Right. We have had a session up to now as well, haven't we? A, a, like a toolbox session before tonight. Yeah, getting my distances, which I've found really, really useful to be honest with you. Um, because I was getting yardages and not having a clue what to hit, so it has worked. Yeah, we'll do a bit of a what's in the bag in the sack just as you're hitting this one, so. That's a nice shot, just drawing into the middle of the green. It's lovely. Uh, what's in the bag wise, the only gap that we really notice where we go driver straight into two iron, don't we? Yeah, and then in the three wood, if you have any donators. <laughs> One thing that I will say, just as he's taking this putt, I think it's a birdie putt, he's managed to recover pretty well here. I wouldn't say that putting is one of Adam's strengths. Something that we've, you know, when we've played together in the past, has been a little bit suspect on. So this is something that you could probably see to feature in future videos. Just a little bit shy, not too bad? Yeah, just still trying to get the breeze. Oh, he's played at PGA course at uh, Belfry last week and he says he's having a hard time adjusting, so. It's like we're back to Kingswood. Whoa, that's not making the video. I hold a very strange place in my heart for that place, you know. I like it. It's like somewhere it. near back, but... Fond memories there. Pretty straight, this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Straight past it. Yep. That would have been a lovely uh, five, lovely save, that one. 
Just mentioned to the camera as you were putting then, I think putting something that we could do with cracking yeah, on with a little bit. Definitely. I've got a bit of a skewed perception of you putting from when we played uh where were it where you had the mini meltdown. Orchard, wasn't it? No, it were Woolly Park. Park. Three putt day, weren't it? Oh. And ever since that cap protection day. Something like that, yeah. I'm glad you said that. So like main objectives for tonight's video, as they kind of were with Andy and George as well, uh, we'll, we'll uh, we might film the second session, I'm not sure yet, but it's just to give people at home a flavour like how you play. Yeah. I think they've probably got a fair um, perception from all that we've played so far, there's a lot of good in there and a little bit of offness at the same time, isn't there? Yeah. So. Fabulous. So hopefully you guys can see at home that when it's mint it's just tremendous. That's a five iron that's probably gone. 300 yards? 310 maybe, something like that. So. Back foot. Uh, no, no, wait, always 50 50 on stuff like this. If anything, one, you, one thing you might have to do is add a bit more knee flex to adjust to the slope, you know what I mean? To, just right. to allow you to get down a little bit more. Fraction thin, it has tailed off to right as we expected. Not too bad though, just back right. Yeah. It's a fairly easy chip from back there, so. Right, pretty straightforward chip, he says. What club you got? 52. Yeah. So called bump and run. Just looking to nudge it on front edge and roll it out. Yeah. Maybe for that little bit of blossom. <laughs> Which bit? <laughs> One on centre at club. <laughs> Lovely shot. Oh, I thought you got it then. Me too. Me yeah, too. easy four though. Easy four. Right, fifth hole now, we've got about 220 to corner I think, so I think it's a good one, we should be, should be good. Did pull drive right initially, but that would have been way too far through fairway, so. Great shot. Nice big eye draw. Turning it on for a camera tonight. Lovely. Player. Uh, right, this is a shot that you're facing now where hopefully by end at toolbox you'll be so much more confident than what you are now because this requires a lower flight of draw. Right. And they're two skills that we're going to look to uh, incorporate a little bit later down the line. So. Right. Um, club selection, what are you thinking? I was thinking about just punching an 8 iron down there towards okay. front of green. Would you feel confident enough controlling your loft to take a lot off an 8 iron? Because look at them overhanging branches, we can't afford this to, to go up into air much. I feel like I can. Okay, you'll I like it, and I like the confidence. You'll soon find out. I like the confidence. He might, he might have been practicing this on Sly, so... Ooh, didn't really get the lowness, but definitely got the shape, that was really good. Just didn't quite turn back enough, just didn't bunker to it right, but good try though. Yeah, that was good. I'll take it on. A, a cheating way of lowering your flight from that, and one thing I could have suggested to you was going six iron, mm. and it's in a bit softer. Yeah. Mint that you got that shape to go around the corner then though. Right then, so I didn't get them on camera, but we just did a couple of bunker shots on the uh, fourth then, just a bit of an introduction to bunker shots, I know we're going to spend a full uh, session on that. So that was a brief introduction into yeah. Adam, how he plays, that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said with other two guys, I might film some sessions later on. If there's something really important that crops up that I think could help a lot of you guys out there, we're definitely going to film. Uh, we're going to play two more holes. Apart from that, I'll probably catch um, you guys later. I don't know what videos I'm going to bring out this year, I ain't got a clue, so hopefully, well, yeah, probably need an air cup first before I think about doing it else, so later, see you in a bit. Yeah.